people thought Camila and I were like into each other. And that made me so uncomfortable, like disgustingly uncomfortable because I was queer, but she was not. Mm -hmm. And it made me feel like a predator, essentially. Because it's invasive. I, it made me feel like a predator because of the type of clips people would put together and the type of stories people would write and the type of stuff. I was always the aggressor and I was always the one turning her and I was always the one who was like the the masculine energy in the scenario. And it made me very uncomfortable because that's not how I identify. And that's not to say that that's wrong to identify like that. Like, daddy, get your shit. You know what I mean? Like, do your thing. But I, I did not identify that way. And I also did not have that connection with her. Camila and I were just very good friends at that time. You know what I'm saying? And we respected each other. When each other would talk, we would look at each other. We had love for each other, like genuine friendship. You know what I'm saying? And in the Latinx culture, I don't know about you, but growing up, I was very affectionate with all of my friends. I was very, yes. like, we would, like, we would tell, tell each other shit that, yeah, maybe you would think we were gay if you were listening over. Yes. <laughs> but we weren't. You know what I'm saying? And, and that wasn't the interaction. So that actually made me so uncomfortable to the point where I, I to this day, hyperanalyze every connection that I have with a girl because I don't want to make them feel like I'm looking at them that way because they were there's there's to this day convinced that that was real you know what i'm saying and and i can't do anything to change it because even when i talk about it and i don't talk about it because I, i've learned to just ignore it because it was it was just so so traumatizing for me you know what i'm saying that it was like i just chose to ignore it at a certain point because getting angry to them would mean that it was real and validate it more for them so i was like okay then i can't get angry or defend myself apparently because then that just makes it more real like it just it really fucked with my head because i was just like i wasn't even comfortable with it with telling my parents about it you know what i'm saying like i wasn't even comfortable telling myself that i was queer you know and i also i didn't see camila that way so it just made me uncomfortable that i could potentially be putting off that kind of vibe onto someone who i who i wasn't trying to do that with you feel me yeah because that that made me like again it made me feel like a predator to this day i have mm -hmm. an issue with that because of it yeah like, i have an issue flirting with girls because i'm like i don't want them to think that i'm trying to inv you know what i'm saying invade mm -hmm. or like anything like that so anyway punto y aparte i was very uncomfortable and i absolutely didn't want to come out because i was like they're gonna confirm that rumor and then it's just gonna go in a whole nother directions and you know it's gonna get worse right and then I was at my uncle and aunt's wedding in New Orleans and we were taking pictures and I was drunk and my girlfriend was drunk and we took a picture of us kissing, right? There was a picture of us kind of like kissing each other, <sighs> like crying. <laughs> it's okay. I'm so honored so, that you are able to share this. So take your time. Yeah. Okay. My aunt super innocently posted all the pictures from the photo booth onto her Facebook. And I have fans that are unreal invasive <laughs> and followed her because they knew that she was with my uncle who was my dad's brother and they just somehow had this link that they found and they found the picture and they posted it. And they were posting it everywhere and posting it everywhere and posting it everywhere. And I was like, oh, my God. And I, I just remember being like, oh, my God, hopefully this doesn't blow up. Hopefully this doesn't blow up. Hopefully this is just like, you know, the few fans. I have like my uncles texting me like, what is going on? Like, what is this? Like, you know, I have people just being like, what? Like, are you guys together? Like, or you know what I'm saying? But like the people in my life already knew, like my, my parents knew and they accepted me. I'm going to be mm -hmm. real. My parents really, they valued our relationship more than their proposed beliefs. And I am blessed because most people in Latinx households get kicked out. Most people end up on the street and homeless because of this fake loyalty to a fake religion that was made up by some people and beat into you and your kids. All right. Like you abandon your family because of that. Anything that makes you abandon your family is not related to God. Is not related to God. God would never want you to abandon your children because of who he made them to be. Ever. Because you also want to say God doesn't make mistakes, right? Right. And that's why they pull up the whole, this is a choice. Let me ask you something. If I could make a choice, wouldn't I choose for this to be easier on me in life? Wouldn't I choose the route where I wouldn't get 
be up? Wouldn't I choose the route where I wouldn't get ridiculed? Wouldn't I choose the route where you would still want to love me? Wouldn't I choose that? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's, it's just, it, it mind boggles me. But luckily, again, my family was very accepting, granted growing in acceptance and learning right. with me. In their, in their own ways, very, yeah. Exactly, very accepting. And my mom especially. My mom was, my mom doesn't, le, le, I Yo, she's, she's, she's a home girl. girl. I don't care. I love your mom. Yeah, she's just like, she's talked to me about things throughout my whole life that I'm so grateful about. Like, I'm so grateful about how transparent my mom has been with me about life in general. Because I get my heart from her, you know? She gave me this, this heart. You feel me? Yeah. And I, I'm sure you relate. So much. Uh, Mama Latinas, we, we have, there's a nurture there. There's a real tender love there, um, I think. But anyway, so I was outed and I was like, oh my God, this is really traumatizing. And I'm just going to crawl into a cave for a week and not say anything about it at all. And then I just kind of like, was like, okay, it happened. People know, what am I going to do? And then I wrote that letter to Trump and his supporters for a billboard. And that's where I, I, I came out, like with my self, as myself, like I'm owning this and this is who I am. And this is why I feel scared for me and my community right now, because the rhetoric going on right now is just alarming, really alarming. And so that's why I felt called to write that. And it wasn't rant in my notes, by the way. It wasn't supposed to be. I didn't like write an op-ed for Billboard. You feel me? Like Billboard no, didn't reach out to truth. me and like, tell us your thoughts. It was no, really it was my your truth. truth. You're like, yo, I, I need to, this, my heart tells me, the heart that my mom gave me, tells mm -hmm. me that this is what I got to do. This is me living I gotta in just my own truth. This. Mm -hmm. I had to just own it. And then I did. And then again, that relationship was not healthy for either one of us. We were both very broken, toxic people at the time. I don't know where she is at in life. I know where I'm at in life and I wish her love and forgiveness and acceptance and apology and everything for what we went through with each other. But she was the person that made me realize who I, who I really was, you know, and what I, what I really connect with in this life. And that is all souls. I'm not just anything you know what i'm saying and that's why yeah. i find it hard to to label myself or to be part of any any community really because all of mm -hmm. like straight or everything is just like to to me the queer community is beautifully accepting but then also not in some ways of of our trans sisters and brothers of straight people of cis people you know there's just like and that's not to say anything because anyone who's been invalidated and been abused in their life by a certain type of person, they're going to have a certain type of bias about that certain yep. type of person. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's why racism exists too, because yep. people are treating each other with these certain biases and don't give each other the benefit of the doubt about connecting to that core humanity that we're talking about here. You feel me? Which at the end of the day is what defines us all and what exists in us all is our souls and our connection to each other, our connection to the earth and our connection to to our ancestors and to God, you feel me? Like there's, there's no- It's so much bigger than us. It's so much it's, bigger it's, than us. And, and I say that with a lot of privilege though, to be fair, because yeah. I am a cis woman. I am a white woman, right? Mm -hmm. I'm Latina, but I'm white, you feel me? Yeah. So there's a lot of also comfort and privilege in be, having been able to come out as in the, in the industry that I'm in, looking the way I do, because boys are still attracted to me, you feel me? And I'm still hetero passing and I'm still cis normative and I'm still heteronormative looking, you feel me? So I'm able to live my truth more freely than most of our brothers and sisters in the queer community are, especially trans people, especially black and brown trans people. Like mm -hmm. it is it is nearly they get murdered every day, every day, every single hunted. day. Honestly, I, I use the word hunted because it's it's honestly that's what it is. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like even even in my coming out stories and even in being able to say like, oh, I prefer like labellessness, like some people's identity is really their lifeline, is their only truth in this life, is their only support in this life, is knowing that that they can at least see themselves, you know, yep. however it is that they find that. And so it's just kind of like yeah that's my story <laughs> um thank you so much for sharing your truth